Hello, welcome to my YouTube tutorial. This is Bikoti, and today um, it will be something quite different as well. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick tip you need to know before you go for your NYC. That's uh, National Youth Service Call. Okay, so before you go, I just want to quickly show you um, what you really need to know and some of the tips, and um, you just need to put in your mind before you go. And just have a full and perfect understanding of it so that you don't get confused of what this thing really means in case you are preparing to go very soon just get to know about them and you are good okay so first of all this is um, NYC registration portal and once you register you have your dashboard you have your portal right and this is this is your dashboard so this is dashboard and the dashboard contains your email the current date your your detail right your details that's your name your batch your gsm number your email address your call up number so call up number is just i think it's just um a kind of means of you know um identify you as as a student as a graduate of a school right so it will show it will show the name of your school NYC will be here, will be the first thing, then the name of your school, that's an abbreviation now. I think the year they call you up, maybe the year you registered, then your call-up number, which is this. This is your call-up number, is valid for every state, even if you are redeploying from one state to another. Your call-up number is always constant, then you have your state code. So this is my state code here, and that's just a unique number to identify you amongst multitude okay so this is your state code and that's basically all you need to know so this is just to show you when you are scheduled for the clearance for the month and this is it here you, you get to print it here once you click on this you you get to print it if you want to make uh if you want to apply for correction of name or rearrangement maybe your name was not arranged in order so you get to change it there you get to make application for that or request for that here then if you want to change your password you have it here if you want to correct course correction maybe the course the um imputed is quite wrong maybe from the school or while you were registering the person mistakenly put another course you can correct it from this place then here's where you get your ppa letter the ppa letter then local government local government clearance that's lga clearance local government area clearance that's the local government where you are being posted to your clearance for the month and if i click it let me see what's gonna happen so it shows that i have been present since um since when i've been in service i've been present so disciplinary case i think maybe if you have any issue if you have any issue um with the nyc officials or whatsoever maybe your ppa you have any issue with them i think it will show up here maybe or a sanction or something then if i click here i'm going to log out of this dashboard which i really do not want to do so i hope this really helps you and gives you insight of what you're expecting when you or before you go to service or before you go to camp rather so by the time you get to camp and you are giving a, a a form to fill you know the form will request you for your state code and probably maybe you've not been given a state code yet so just don't bother yourself by putting anything there just leave it let it be then by the time you are done with your registration they will generate your state code for you automatically so uh, let me go back to to the state code i really want to explain something so now this is the state code which is here so the oy or the first um two letter yeah the first two letter you will see stands for the state you are serving or you are being deployed to whatsoever then the second signifies um the year of service and um the batch the alphabet which is a here shows that it is batch a okay which year year 2023 and the number here is just an added fire to get to know you personally you, you know to to be able to identify you specifically that's just what it stands for i, I think i forgot to explain that so i hope you understand what it means now the oy here means or your state or your state then if you are in kogi state for instance you have kg if you are in adamawa you have ad and so on and so forth so that's just how to 
um, identify that okay and here is to print your sleep and um, that's all that's basically all as far as um, the portal is concerned and that's just the basic things you really need to know before you go to camp just to be aware of them so that you don't you know get stocked up at 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 the registration point in camp okay if you enjoyed this video tutorial please thumbs up so ensure that you subscribe to this youtube channel like hit your like button subscribe and share the video and i will see you in the next one thank you